Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Lewis, and this is Metal End Reviews. What's up? Hey, if this is your first time here, you're checking out my channel, and you like what you see? Well then please, my friends, do me that favor of like, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned before, it really helps me grow the channel, spread it to the masses, and of course, motivates me to provide you guys more stuff to watch. Alright, so what are we doing here? We're going to be reacting to Emma with this song called Apnea. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I couldn't really find a translation, so if anyone you out there know what this song is, or am I saying it right? What's it about? Let me know below. Uh, anyway, Emma, she's an Italian artist. Uh, this was a random pick. Uh, I've been on a, a little bit of an Italian kick lately, and depending on well how you know how well these videos do, I'll continue on down that path. Uh, anyway, um, though very little about Emma. Obviously, as the title suggests, she's featured in Sam Remo, 2024. Uh, either I missed her or... I didn't catch her during the event because I did a few select artists from San Remo. Um, anyway, here we are now. Like I said, I know very little about her. Um, I know she started out young, um, various Italian contests, Ita uh, Italy's version of uh, MTV, all the way to San Remo. So, um, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited. Um, other than that, I'm going into this blind. So, let me stop yapping. I'll queue up the video, and we're about to react to Emma with Apnea. Ci incontriamo qui nei corridoi di un albergo e mi chiedo se alla fine siamo ancora noi o è diverso, io non credo. Trova le tue le parole nelle onde del televisore o del mare. Io se avessi un telecomando non ti cambierei mai Io non so dove sto andando, dimmi tu dove vai Ti lascio un altro messaggio, ma che te ne farai? Dimmelo quanto ti manco, tu già lo sai È colpa mia, se adesso siamo in bilico Ma è colpa tua, agli occhi che mi uccidono lo sai Però mi fai sentire il brivido di stare bene Di stare insieme e non è una bugia di quelle che si dicono per non stalcia o solo per sputare via il veleno che tanto è tutto vero All right, so right off the bat, definitely has a very uh, Euro pop. Uh, I say that a lot lately, right? Uh, this is obviously European artists, so uh, they definitely bring that flair and flavor to the mix. Like it's not like I'm, you know listen into another uh, Ariana Grande, you know, even though there's some similarities across the board when it comes to all pop uh, pop music, regardless of the country, uh, you make that pop music in. Um, but this, uh, like I said, definitely has that Euro pop kind of flair, uh, very, very danceable, has a very kind of uh, electronic, techno-ish kind of vibe, a little bit. Um, I definitely could see this being played in clubs for sure without a doubt. Uh, you know, strobe lights, the whole, you know, people dancing close together, that whole bit. Um, her voice, it's nice, it's very soothing. Uh, has a little, has a little bit of a rasp there, like a raspy kind of, uh, sound. Kind of sexy, I like it. Um, the video, it kind of says a lot of, the, you know, the imagination goes wild when you see, you know, video set up like this, but... That's just the um, artistic interpretation of, I guess, the lyrics or whatever the song may be about. Um, but yeah, yeah. D way different, actually. You know, the, uh, nothing I could compare it to. I mean, uh, I've heard this style before, obviously. You know, Euro, Euro pop is like an umbrella term for, you know, obviously European pop music. But, uh, you know, sometimes they have more of a Western influence and you can hear it right off the bat. And some kind of stick to their roots, and it's definitely has a different vibe. Uh, and that's what I get from here. Very, very, very Eurocentric, and uh, you know, I would assume it's played on the radio, probably, and like I said, at clubs and nightclubs and what have you. But uh, interesting, interesting. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Quando sei andato perché 
su di te, scusami non parliamo di più, c'è ragione tu. E colpa mia, so adesso siamo in bilingo, ma colpa tua, ho gli occhi che mi uccidono, lo sai, però mi fai sentire il brivido di stare bene, di stare insieme. E non ho una bugia di quelle che si dicono per nostalgia, o solo per It's kind of hard to stop there, but um, um uh, yeah, yeah. It's very, um, like I said, it's very easy listening. You know, I, you know, it has a very addictive kind of beat. You know, I, I noticed that in certain songs like this. But uh, so what this differs from the other ones, it de this one leans more towards the uh, that techno kind of vibe, very uh, high tempo beats. You know, what have you. Um, my voice is nice. I like. That she's not, you know, going all over crazy with different octaves. Um, I'm sure she can, you know. Uh, obviously, you know, she's included with San Remo, so she's, you know, there, you know ta there's talent for you right there. Um, but yeah, with this particular song, um, maybe I should have done an older song, maybe or something she uh, did a collab with. But uh, regardless, like I said, this song definitely leads m more into that techno -y, you know, um, electronic kind of music. The pop's there. It's very, there's that fluff, that European flair that goes with it. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm glad she has this kind of breathy, airy kind of voice, you know, like really just kind of letting those, those words linger, you know, and kind of disintegrate as they you know, reach the end, but, um, uh, that was a weird way of explaining it, you, you get what I'm saying, you know, her, her voice is very, like, breathy and raspy, uh, not, not quite where it's noticeable, but it's, you can hear it, you know, um, just enough to give her that edge, you know, and I like that, I feel like, you know, such a saturated environment with this kind of music, uh, you, you know, even in Europe, I mean, I know in America, we're loaded with, you know, copycat artists, but, you know, to be different in Europe, you really got to kind of, then again, I don't know, you know, because it's all about the audience, you know, if, if they like an artist that sounds similar to someone they already like, I guess that would be an easy pick, right? But some people that look, maybe searching for something different, you know, but like I said, th where this isn't, you know, there's not a lot of like, you know, orca orchestration, like a, like an orchestra background, violins, cello, uh, piano. This is like I said. This leans more towards dancey. While well, the other songs too are dancey, but they're they have different structures, uh, layers. This has a very kind of a straightforward edge to it. Um, but you know, with all that uh, European flair, and uh, you know, it's very noticeable uh, with this anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah, I could definitely see it being. You know, being played in, you know, those kind of environments. Very, you know, clubbish, you know, uh, there's a very clubbish beat going on. It's just, uh, you know, it's something you picture, you know. And it doesn't take that hard to imagine, you know, this being played there. You know, at a, like, you know, nightclubs and what have you. Um, but like I said, probably even radio too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the radio situation is in Italy. Um, but I imagine it's a, it's a very diverse section of music. Uh, but yeah, so far, it's good, the video, um, like I said, sexy, you know, just a lot, a lot going on here, uh, I, I would assume it correlates with the song, you know, somehow, uh, you know, I always ask this question, because the audience knows best, let me know what the song's about, uh, if you want to share, um, alright, well, let's keep going. It all up now. Yeah. 
apnea. So that's how it's pronounced. Uh, okay, so that was Emma with apnea. Uh, I still don't know what it means. Um, I love how, and you'll see this a lot, I love how, like, a lot of these, um, you know, foreign videos I've been watching have been given, like, the credits, which is awesome, because obviously, uh, well, when I was growing up, and you would see a music video, would very, very seldom include the director or producer or whatever who was behind the music video. You always had to kind of do that digging yourself. But this, it was awesome. It's a very catchy beat, and when you have a song that has a hook, even if it's a little one, whether it be in the chorus, the verse, in this case, you know, definitely, it's in there. I'm not, you know, these dance songs are not structured the same as, like, let's say, rock or metal songs. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Uh, they're more flowy. This had a very steady flow to it, and definitely I could see people on the dance the dance floor getting busy to a you know, song like this. It's very high tempo, energetic, you know, it just has that kind of aura about it. And she, uh, you know, brings that brings that energy, you know, without getting too high or too low, but, you know, her thing is that kind of raspiness, that sexiness that she carries, you know, that charisma, that sexy charisma she has, and, um, and her voice that she, pro she projects that, so, a whole lot of sexy going on, <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, yeah, that's Emma, um, like I said, is it the most original, new, like, gonna stick in my head, you know, probably not, but uh, I always appreciate foreign music, any kind of music, in you know, really. Uh, you know, when you do reactions like this, you, you know, you learn a lot, you're exposed to a lot, and, uh, you know, it opens your eyes, you know, especially to new things. And um, this is no different, you know, uh, this was a good song. I could, like I said, I could definitely uh, hear it uh, and play it at a club, it has that club vibe to it, it's very danceable. You know, the beat kind of gets stuck in your head, and it makes you, you know, want to jam a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, very interesting uh, choice. Uh, this, I don't know how popular this is. I mean, obviously it was included in a list of popular songs in Italy, currently. So uh, I'd imagine this is probably, a, you know, maybe a radio-friendly song. You know, probably gets played in rotation a lot. I don't know. Um, yeah, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyway, there you have it. That's my thoughts on Emma with Apnea. Um, well, I've made it this far in the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, and if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, my friends, until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace.